This is the pound yen currently on the 15 minute time frame and I'm in a high and tight flag. I've been eyeing this up most of the day um, because I've been noticing the pound pairs have been moving quite directionally. I have just had a winner on uh, the pound dollar, I think it was. No video for that one though, I'm afraid. Um, but on this one, let's go ahead and do the higher time frame analysis. So we're going to delete everything off as usual and take a look at the higher time Going out to the dailies, let me just remove that off. Now there's absolutely nothing here for me on the daily time frame. Um, all I would say is that if I put a structure level in just here, you can see we've held that level and we started to work our way up. And I would anticipate that we are going to hit our next structure level, which is just here. Um, dropping down the time frame, going down to the 240. Uh, really isn't a great deal here, but what I am going to do is put another structure level on at the very highs of this level uh, right here. And what you can see is this level, these levels right here. We now have a confirmed break above, close above, and there is room to go higher to those extended targets. So dropping down the time frames again, this time down to the 60. And pretty much the same story, if I zoom out, you can see that uh, we have a confirmed break above, close above, a lovely directional candle, sideways movements. That sideways movement is what I love to see when we're looking for these um, for these high and tight flags. Uh, usually these high and tight flags happen when we're moving very directionally or in trend, um, or we've just violated some form of major structure, and we, we have just violated the, that major structure level. So. What are the rules? Well, we're looking for a swing in the market. There it is. We're looking that we have a minimum of two touches on either side. Let me draw this out again. I'm using the wrong shortcuts. Delete that. There we go. There's one. And I'm going to go ahead and just duplicate that and move it down to there. And you can see how well structure has been adhered to. We're looking for those four touches. We're looking for one, two. There's the third. Here is the fourth right here. Now, I've only just got in. Uh, I've been out, but I'm just going to drop down and take a look at this on the five minutes. See if it gave anything like a double bottom or, uh, you know, a, a, a more conservative entry. No, but you can certainly see even here on the five minute, this is still valid how well we've been hugging that structure line. So going to the 15, this is where the trade is for me. Um, we've got a lovely um, rejection candle right here. Beautiful doji, the arrow's upside down. So let me redo that. Is it that one? Nope, it's still upside down. That one. Beautiful doji there. Indication that there's lots of buying pressure at this zone. Um, there is no psychological number here, so that means I can go ahead and take the trade. So I'm looking for the swing high to the swing low, and I'm going to be looking for that 127 extension. Just like so. And what I'm going to do is just reduce this down a little bit. So you can see that our structure level is up there. Our target is before it, which is excellent. So as I bring back on the orders, uh, stops has just gone five pips below the lowest point here and I'm front running here by two pips to target so it means almost a two to one reward to risk here uh, it, this would have been a very very good reward to risk if I had uh, been around uh, just a few minutes earlier but I'm not always by the charts guys so almost a two to one here 16 pips for 27 let's see what happens with this trade and we're back for the update within five minutes well, that was a very, very quick uh, and sharp exit for minus 16 pips on that trade. Uh, what a real shame. Uh, high and tight flags are some of my favourite. Um, what we could very well do here is uh, we could still actually hold the structure level turn and go and hit targets. But nevertheless, I've been stopped out on that trade. Uh, what I want to do is just spend a minute since uh, I'm showing you a loser here and just, uh, just run through... Um, Really, January's stats, uh, I am missing two trades, one winner and one loss from here. But as mentioned, I am in my main account trading a percentage of, of my account. Now today, um, I've actually taken two trades today, which is um, a little bit surprising. The first one, 
um, was at the pound dollar, that was a high and tight flag. So if I just click on that here, you'll be able to see it. I didn't do a video for it. Uh, 13 pips for 16. As you can see, that was the entry. And if you click on this screenshot here, you'll see that actually won for, uh, it was actually 17 pips that won for in the end. Uh, and then obviously the pound in trade, which I've just been in now, which is uh, which is a real shame. That was a lovely 16 for 26 pips. Um, but uh, things are going quite well. Um, other than that, I did take um, a couple of losses. We uh, had our bat pattern, which lost those of you that were following me. Um, wait for this to load. It was a uh, lovely structure hold here. Uh, lower, lower, lower close, got involved. Uh, double topped 2618 and then just rallied up to stop me out for 18 pips. Um, but other than that, we're up 141 pips for the month, but I'm playing a percentage of my account. So um, things are going quite well. Shame that pound yen trade loss, but there you go. A loss for you guys. One for uh, to go up on YouTube.